Oh my god, that was actually quicksand. Well, g'day legends. So, just coming out here with uh, my cousin Ryan to bring you out on his uh, first backpack, well actually, pretty much camping trip ever, eh? First. <laughs> the only camping trip he's done before is uh, in the caravan park, so this is gonna be a, yeah, a big difference, eh? This is full bush. <laughs> full bush. Full bush, <laughs> full bush camping. Uh, so I've come back to a spot that I've been to before, came here, I think back in February, earlier this year. Uh, but we're gonna go push further down river uh, to a section of this, um, yeah, river, this gorge I haven't been to before, which, I'm really looking forward to it. I've got uh, yeah, pretty high hopes for it, so I think it's going to be a yeah, good one. Dean? Yeah, throwing myself in the deep end. <laughs> you! Let's do it. <laughs> the old quicksand, eh? <laughs> Full bush. Full bush. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing here? That's very cool. Mate, loving the shorts. Look at those quads, mate. Yeah, we city shorts. My feet are starting to get a little bit sore now, so I've got to put my joggers back on. These are my good gym joggers, so little, now, they're, now I'm going to have to buy a new pair of joggers when I get home. Little skinny jeans. <laughs> got some Mimu trucks. That'll be very cool to see one out here. The big hay. It's such a, a sweet cave, like how good's that view? It's looking down there. So this is a cave that I camped in last time I was here. It's a really nice little cave and has such a nice look out down the river. Might have a quick ease. And it's such a, a nice little cave, eh? Really nice size, nice sandy flat area to sleep on. Oh, it's all again. I'm gonna chuck down the backpack, take it home. All right, so I got a bit of a classroom lesson for Ryan. Yep, I was just uh, weighing in the water, and Scott told me. Told you off. <laughs> told me off. That's not bush etiquette. That's so not Scott's bush etiquette. Tell me what bush etiquette is. Well, number one, don't uh, don't piss or defecate in your water source. That's probably okay. a pretty important one. Uh, but one. yeah, if you're going to do the old uh, number twos, I'd probably walk. I don't know, minimum 30 meters away from the river. I think they say about 100 meters. Uh, yeah. But yeah. At least as far as you can go, you dig a little hole about sort of 15 centimeters deep. Yeah. Do your business, cover it up. Don't leave toilet paper lying around. That is absolutely disgusting when people do that. Where do you put your toilet paper? You, either, the burn, you either burn it, or you can put it in the hole, or you can carry it out. Yeah. Um, who I guess depends where you are and what you want to do with it, but yep. burning it is actually quite effective. Uh, sounds pretty chat, but I did it. <laughs> 
I did it when I was doing the bushcraft course with Gordo um, from Bushcraft Survival Australia. And honestly, like it doesn't smell at all, and the, t the top paper is just yeah gone. So what so. do you wrap it up, put it in a bag, and no, no, so you, you just burn it? You just do your business. So you a... just do your business when there's a bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> just do your business, get a lighter, just burn the toilet paper, and it's gone. So that's a pretty um, good way to do it. But yeah, definitely don't piss or in the yeah. river. <laughs> All right, well, we're just gonna pull up and have some lunch at this really nice spot. Oh, this place is so bloody beautiful. It's a really pretty river. We're making pretty good time. What's it like, 1.30ish or something? Um, 2.20. Oh, okay. <laughs> 2.20, okay, maybe we're not. <laughs> I don't have to check the maps and see how far we got to go, but yeah, we'll be right. What a sick spot, hey. It was so good down there. Beats uh, camping in the caravan park, yeah. eh? <laughs> the things you find in the bush, eh? I don't know how this would have got here. Unfortunately, it's too big to hike out unless you want to carry it out, mate. <laughs> use those uh, big guns and put them to use. <laughs> oh, I bloody love this place, eh? It is so special. Let's have a go at it. No, I said this last time, but it honestly looks like something out of like the Kimberley or the Northern Territory. It is. Bloody gorgeous. What do you reckon, mate? Unreal. Not bad, eh? Absolutely unreal. Not bad. Such a good cave. Man, it's such an impressive cave. How sick is that? In such a sick spot too, like this little constriction where the cliffs come right down to the, the water's edge. Really cool. So sick. This will make a, a very nice little camping cave. So tranquil. All right, we'll make it known. That is now called Cathedral Cave. <laughs> Always wanted to name a cave, so there you go. Very, very peaceful spot. It is, eh? Very so tranquil. I reckon this would have to be up there with one of my favourite spots of all time, eh? Like, that view. Oh, it's just this whole section of river is absolutely stunning. We've got this really beautiful bird singing its little head off. Oh, and the afternoon light as well, it's just like sparkling on the water and through the trees, lighting up the sandstone cliffs. Man, what a nice time. Man, how cool is that, eh? Just the colours in the cliff, like the pinks and oranges and reds and yellows.
Was that? Mate, it's so good. What's not to like? <laughs> so, we made it to the spot that I made it to on the last trip I came here. I believe there's a cave just up over there that I think we'll probably camp in tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to explore down that section of the, the river, which I haven't been to yet. So, I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's meant to just be more of this bloody awesomeness. So, yeah, very keen. Pretty cool little cave. Has the colours as well. Yeah. Alright, well, I think this cave is going to be home for tonight for us. Yeah, really nice here. cave. Yeah, there's a, a fair bit of scat lying around. One of a wombat or two vis visiting us throughout the night. Yeah, it's good. It's a really nice cave. There's like stacks room. You could probably sleep like, I don't know, five or six people in here. Yeah, such a nice spot. Right, we've just got the sleeping gear set up, so I've got my bivy rod out here and then Ryan's got, yeah, using the Corinthia over in that corner. Yeah, really nice camp for tonight. Ryan's just down there <laughs> snoozing. We're both pretty buggered, eh? But uh, it's about five o'clock, got about an hour till it gets dark, so I might get some firewood collected and yeah, get the fire going soon. Well, hard-earned thirst. Ice. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming out. Well, so what do you, you think of your first hiking, bushwalking, camping experience? Today was tough. Tough? <laughs> Today was tough. That was like the easiest thing you could have done. No, but that was like walking <laughs> through the water was tough. Like when we're on the land, walking through water is actually quite hard. It's it actually is. good for like, it's, it's good for the first maybe four hours yeah. and then <laughs> the, next, the, last, the next four hours The last so two fun. hours is, was it is tough. A, like your feet, the, like you had your the, shoes Well, on. it's just the, car, like the yeah, calves, the like pushing your foot through the sand. I'm not looking forward to going back upstream because yeah. it's quite a flow to this um, this weekend and I think going back up is going to be a bit of a workout, eh? Oh, oh, mate, oh. with quads like yours, you just push through easily. These little chicken legs, but, I don't know about these, but... It's really not. It's like the fact that we got like all these little sandy beaches and you yeah. got the caves and like you just got this water. Yeah. Like just like just the sound of the water and the birds is just like enough yeah. to just like. It's so tranquil here. It's my favorite spot, hands down. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's a, yeah, a very special place. Now I've just got to sleep in the wilderness. Sleep in the, <laughs> in, the, in the cave, mate. In the cave. Mate, it's not a bad experience. Your first. Uh, Overnight experience in the bush is in a in a cave. So, in a place like this, people have done a lot worse. So nice and quiet. Yeah, it's it's heaps good. It's exactly what I needed and expected. Yeah. Time. Hi, very good time. <laughs> so what's in there? Tequila and Contro. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna put some lemons in there and hopefully she tastes good. <laughs> Get two lemons in there. Give that a bit of a cocktail shake. And <laughs> <laughs> Pretty strong, <laughs> but it tastes pretty good. Well, it'll do. Pretty strong. When you go on bush, mate, you'll have to do anything, eh? Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking up on my head and chest.
really is great. It's so good. Yum. The colour sound cool fish like too much. Yeah, it does. It's just, just, just hitting there and cutting these little ripples. Mm. But then you could hear the big. Yeah. Then we started going around the corner. Like, there you go. It's gone. <laughs> Coming back again, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, it's down there, it's like in the water, just looking at me and Scott Gomer. Waiting for you to hear this. <laughs> well, good morning. So we had a, a visitor last night. <laughs> Ryan thought it was a, a yaoi coming to visit us. We heard this, uh, something just like walking through the water, like quite loud in the middle of the night, but I'm pretty sure it was a kangaroo. I thought I heard it jumping, but... Uh, Ryan's a pretty light sleeper, only woke up a few times. You know, There's saying. a few separate animals going up and down that river, and <laughs> they were scaring me. Yeah. Look, well, mate, could have been the yowie. A lot of people are pretty adamant that they're out there, so you never know. See what's, what Ryan's doing, he's just getting this bark from this, this log down here, and just exposing that inner bark, because the inner bark is what you want to use to Scrunch up to make a little tinder bundle um, to get the fire started. So we've got inner bark and inner bark. Yep. Cool. In there, buddy. Alright, so Ryan's gonna give the old ferro to go. So get your right boot. Right boot? Yeah, and put your right boot next to next to the tinder bundle. Yeah. And use your use your hand, like lean your no no, use that hand. Yeah. And then like pull the ferro rod up against that. Ah. Yeah, like that. So you might want to try and bring it a little bit closer. Closer. Down. So keep that arm steady. Try and use the whole length of the ferro rod. Oh, okay. no, no. <laughs> you just pulled out. You bow it. Are you meant to bow it? <laughs> yeah. So you just let it take. Alright, okay, so once it takes, once it takes, <laughs> then just grab that and tip it upside down so okay. it catches. There you go. <laughs> Slowly, you don't like rush it. Cool. Now put the cracking fan on. I'm probably blowing it a little bit. Like it down low. Blow from this side with the flames. Yeah, cool. I'll put some more back and turn on. I'll chuck the sticks on. There you go, mate. Is that your there first you fire? <laughs> it's your first fire with one of these without a lighter. Very nice. Bacon, avocado, bread, and some sauce, barbecue sauce. And my bush coffee that's about to get poured. <laughs>
One side was, you gotta get out further. Yeah. There's quicksand on either side of this wall. Oh, far out. This is probably one of the best little caves I've ever come across. Well, not little, it's absolutely massive, but man, just the, the position. Bloody hell. You're right on the water's edge, but you're high enough that uh, you won't sort of have any issue with floods unless you get a lot of rain. But um, man, this spot is absolutely magical. I wish you camped here last night, but I'm definitely going to be coming back one day to camp in this cave. Wow. So nice up there, the trees and the cliff trays. Looking back in my busy. Yeah. Still worth it Oh, mate, stop mucking around. <laughs> actually, <you're stuck> in. <laughs> oh my god, that was actually quicksand. Oh, quicksand. Yeah. in? I'll be right. <laughs> that was skits. That was, you, I would have got yeah. fully stuck there if I was by myself. <laughs> well, I haven't got a phone in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, I know. Man, it is such a dramatic landscape. We're just heading into sort of the main gorge section. Uh, these really high, steep cliffs and Oh man, it's just a, a very impressive place, eh? Just around like every corner, you just don't know what you're gonna get. You just get like smacked in the face with like a big cave or a cliff or, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> it's a bloody dream to go for a bushwalk through here. This little spot to have some water. Just take the shoes off, and man, look inside. <laughs> look how much sand I'm carrying inside these shoes. That's like an extra probably three kilos worth of sand and water. Whew. All right, well, we've just pulled up in this little um, sandbank here, just beneath this massive cliff. It's about lunchtime here, yeah, I think it's like almost 12 o'clock, and uh, we've been walking for about two, two and a half hours. Um, to be honest, we haven't got quite as far as we wanted to. Um, this gorge is it's quite long and uh, we're hoping to try and do most of it, but just walking through the, the sand, it's just so slow going. Like you think it's gonna be quick, but it's it's actually quite tiring. So we've still got a yeah, pretty decent trek um, to go back the other direction. Uh, like I said, it's taken two hours to get from last night's camp to here. So we've got at least a two hour hike back to that spot. Um, probably slower because we're going against the current. And then we want to try and go back to um, those caves that I camped at last trip, which is I think about a, a three hour hike from last night's camp back to those caves. So we've got about a five hour walk ahead of us. And like I said, it's about 12 o'clock. So it's probably a wise idea to probably call it quits for here. Maybe probably um, just have some lunch here and then we'll make our way back. And we just have to save that other section for next time. Came okay, first some lunch, so we'll sit down and have that and we'll yeah, make a move back up. All right, mate, keen for your five hour hike back up. Let's do it. <laughs> well, we've just changed out the shoes and just some socks because, yeah, the shoes are just so heavy pushing through this water, so. Too much drag. Too much drag. And Ryan reckons socks are better, so. Socks are better. Give it a go. <laughs> A nice little red belly black snake just sunning himself. Not a bad spot, mate. <laughs> Save you here by yourself. Stuck. 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 
Yeah, just missed it. We're almost to the caves. Hey man, it cannot come soon enough, eh? Hey? I am bugged. What do you reckon? Big enough for two people? Yeah. Nice and cozy, but might be work. It's like the size of a house. <laughs> today? Today was very tough. We actually <laughs> thought we were going to do, we thought we were going to be hiking for seven hours, yeah. um, but we actually were... Managed to condense it to what, five? Five hours. I don't know, that's, well we did cut the trip a bit further out short. Yeah, we didn't really get to do the full gorge we wanted to do, but uh, it was just like, yeah, even just walking through this for five hours is pretty tiring. So. On the way back, we'll just we'll, we'll move and we'll try and just yeah. trying to get there. <laughs> Hips were gone, yeah. knees were gone, they were burning. Like I feel, I consider myself to be pretty fit, but I was I was in the hurt locker <laughs> the last the last hour and a half. Yeah, but um, but scenic wise is uh, hectic, hectic. Like that gorge, I'm so keen to explore the rest of that one day. Um, it's really really impressive, eh? Just gosh, like 50 meter high cliffs on either side of you. It's really special, eh? In that cave we came across, mm. and I got to camp in that cave one day. And as so. you said, you go down one way, and you've got one view. Yeah. And then when you come back, you've got a completely a whole different, different view, view, and you've, yeah. you've seen the same stuff, but just from a different angle, completely different yeah. perspective. Yeah. And you just like walk around a corner, and then like you just get like surprised with like a big cliff or a yeah. cave or something. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Tonight we've got a really really nice spot. Yeah. Blue sky still. So. No wind. Really nice cave. Yeah, looking Fire. up the river. It's good. Hopefully no yowies around. <laughs> yeah, so did we speak about your experience I, last night? I think we spoke about the, there was <laughs> last night there was something moving through the water while we were asleep and I I was certain it was a yowie. Scott <laughs> reckons it was a kangaroo, but it sounded like it was yeah. swoosh swooshing and I thought kangaroos would have splash splashed. Yeah. <laughs> but um who knows? Maybe we we'll, hear it tonight. I'll we'll be it, yeah. I'll be jumping out. Of, I'll be jumping out of the tent hard with the flashlight on. We're up on a bit of a ledge tonight, so yeah, someone's got to scale the cliffs to get to us. But yeah. just last... get that knife handy next <laughs> okay. to you, mate. I'll, I'll be I'll be sleeping with a head torch and a knife all night. A few more of those margaritas, mate, and just knock yourself out. And... Right. <laughs> but first trip. Yeah, yeah, for your first trip, but what are you, pretty specky place to come and do your first uh, camping trip. Yeah. Like, it doesn't get much better than this, eh? Yeah. This is really special, so. And the height, like, the, I just, you don't realise how, it, like, physically intense the hiking part is, just especially because you got all, all your gear, like, you could be carrying, like, I probably started off with 15 kilos or something because I, yeah. I brought about five <laughs> kilos of food. But, Man, um, like 12 bananas. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, even just going, like, going through the water's hard, yeah. and obviously that's a different, because you actually, um, trudging through the sand, yeah. but then it, like as soon as you're climbing, up, climbing up rocks and that, yeah. like you, you're still scaling with that extra weight on your back, yeah. like you're carrying that pack, like it's. Yeah. Try climbing up like an 800 meter yeah. high mountain, or like it's yeah, pretty tough. <laughs> it's pretty uh, tough. you start using different muscles and stuff, and yeah, for a but, newbie you got to get used to it. Even just like the like how the, the pack feels on your back as well. Oh yeah, um, on the hips. Get used to that. On the shoulders. Mm. I'll be sore tonight. I was very sore last night, so. Yeah. Chill out, have a drink. Have a drink. 
put on the fire. Yep. You'll be able to watch me spark a fire with Flint. Yeah. I don't know how. Is it Flint? No. Uh, ferry rod. Fer- no. What? What's the oh, other one? Oh, I got the Flint because you did the ferry rod this morning. Yeah, I did the ferry rod this morning. I got a Flint steel. Yeah. So we'll, so we'll that. have a laugh at that, and yeah. then um, yeah. and then we'll be able to show you our little campsite. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Wow. All right. Is that all I need? These two things. Yeah, that. The striker, the steel striker, the flint, and a little bit of that black charcoal. Okay. Just one bit of it. Yeah, so you get that. And you're going to be holding that like that? Yeah, so you got your striker. Yep, and this. Your, yep, and then you got your piece of flint. Yep. That's, char- that's flint. That's flint. You can okay. also use a quartz, which is quite common in this area. Yeah. And you get your bit of charcoal. And then where should I be striking? So then put on a sharp edge, like. Like maybe, that edge? Maybe that edge there. Yep. So put the charcoal off, like right up towards the edge of it. Yeah. And then get your steel striker. Oh god. Until one of those like red sparks like falls on top. Yep. Yep, perfect. So then put then your, your tinder bundle. Put the other bit of you got a little bit of chuck off to say, put that in there as well. Okay. Now just like blow. Bring it close to your mouth, I reckon. You reckon? Yeah. Where? Yeah, like that. Long. Yeah. There you go. Oh. There she's on. Quick grab your bracken. Just don't, don't smother it, don't smother it. Oh. I smothered it. Yeah, you smothered it. <laughs> Quick try and blow it again. Is there any red bits? Yeah, there you go. I don't smother it, just gently. Just a little bit on. There you go. Wow, that's hard work. You got it, mate. No, no, use this, uh, the this smaller stuff? stuff. Put that on. Very nice, mate. And then, yep. And just put that on top. Good job, mate. Whoa, that was, that was tough Damn, work. <laughs> Not bad for your first attempt. So many currawongs around this morning. It's such a, a nice sound to wake up to, especially uh, when you've got all the mist surrounding us. It's a, a very beautiful morning out here. Uh, it's about quarter past eight. I've just had some brekkie. 
Um, so we're gonna, probably going to start packing camp up pretty soon. We want to try and get out of here by about 9 o'clock because uh, it's uh, yeah, a bit of a trek to get home. So um, yeah, we'll start packing up camp soon and we'll get back to you guys in a bit. Alright, we've just uh, packed up camp and we've uh, just covered up the fire pit as well. Now it's time to brave that icy water. It's uh, pretty fresh this morning, so we're not too keen on it, but we'll do it. Ooh, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> no, <you're good. laughs> All right, guys. Well, here's a wrap for this trip. Man, how'd you enjoy it? It's good. It was very, very tough. Oh. Um, I didn't think it was going to be this hard. Yeah. But um, and I thought it? I chose a pretty easy place to take him as well. I thought just walking down a nice, beautiful, sandy river would be a good spot for your first camp. But yeah. it does take the over. You. It's pretty hard on the feet and stuff yeah. as well. As I said this morning, I thought it would be. Like you'd get camping and it'd just be like tranquil and you're relaxing <laughs> the whole time. You got the fire and you're singing Kumbaya, but like actually exploring with the pack on, walking yeah. down like the cold river and just tre trudging through the sand and stuff. Like you get back to camp and you like it's five o'clock and you've still got to do the fire, you've still got yeah. to do dinner, you've still got to set up your tent. Like yeah. it shows you how easy we actually have it. Yeah, in I know. In society, that's one thing I've learned about doing um, these trips so much is. Once you get back to a nice comfy bed and a nice burger on the way home, it's oh. like you just realise how easy you have a day. <laughs> Chocolate milk, burger, oh, mate, and then an it. afternoon nap on the lounge, I reckon. Yeah, no, nah, it's so good. But, Thank uh, you very much. It's good to get out here in your first uh, backpack camp. It's a pretty um, spectacular place to come for it. So, yeah, yeah. we'll definitely we'll get, get you on some more, mate. I'll be back next time. <laughs> yeah, Cheers. Alright, guys, catch you guys in the next See time. Yeah.